Hey guys, it's Notre Guy here with another GTA 5 video, guys. And today in this video, we're upgrading the new Pegasi Oppressor, guys. It's beautiful, it's brand new, it's from the Gun Running DLC, guys. And as you see here, we're doing a quick upgrade video. Honestly, there isn't really too much to this vehicle, as you can see. There's barely any custom options for it, which is kind of annoying. You can do like a front mud guard, rear mud guard, and you can put on a kind of change of the fuel tank and a little bit at the back. You can change like the seat at the back. That's really all you can actually do to the bike, and there's like two or three options per one, so it's kind of limited, guys. As you see, right now I'm going to be choosing the color. I really don't know what colors to do, though. I'm honestly probably going to go with black and red or red and black. We just kind of see what looks red and black, but it won't work, will it? Because it's bloody, first of all, primary colors metallic, guys. Uh, and pretty much in this video as well, there will be the majority, anyway, the majority of the video, guys, will be a vehicle test. So it'll be my first experience riding it. I might do a video later on doing a kind of tutorial, tell you guys how it's best to fly it, because I will get used to it over time, guys. As I say, this is my first time with this bike. All I've really done is driven it into this, uh, what's it called? Um, MOC, my mobile operation center, guys. As you see, the seats, here's the seat options. Let's see what I mean, how they're limited. There's only like two, three choices per one. They're not really different from each other either. It's kind of sad. I'll buy the last one, it'll do. Sells for a half decent amount, guys. This bike on discount, I'd recommend doing a discount, guys. It'll cost you 2.6 million, and if you guys want to know how I, you can get the discount, just leave a like down below or a comment and ask, and I'll probably get a video to you, hopefully within a week after it, or in a few days. I'm able to do that, and I'll tell you guys how to get all the discounts, because the discounts, guys, are really worth it. It's when you're best to buy the stuff, is if you have the discount. Also, another recommendation for you guys, the brand new DLC guns that have come out, Mark IIs, they're beautiful, really godly. They are all on 25% discount for a week, okay? So I'd recommend you get yourself those if you haven't got them already, guys. You see, wheel choice on the spike, I don't know again. I think the bike itself could have had some special kind of wheels, but to be honest, they're all the exact same. We're just going to go with these kind of big sport looking ones. They look pretty good. It fit, fits it. Get tire smoke black. I've already got armor, guys. So that's pretty much the upgrade part of the video. There's nothing really huge to do to this bike, which is kind of sad and a bit disappointing. But I can't really complain. So that's how it looks like. It looks pretty lit, to be honest. Although it does look a bit... It looks lit in the sense of it's new. But it looks a bit strange. It looks a bit futuristic, to be honest. But... Hey, I can't complain. Rockstar made the bike and it, it is beautiful. Here we go. Oh, we've got to cancel and leave my MOC. Here we go. All right. We're loading out. It takes its time, doesn't it? Here we go, guys. So, my first time actually kind of getting it on the proper street. Okay, all right. Wow. Horn is your thingy B, like your boost button, and then A is your flaps. Okay, it's not bad, it's a bit, ugh, hang in there, it's my first time, so don't judge guys, don't judge, we're trying here, we're trying to see what it does, it glides forever though, that's really good, it's good at that, it glides quite well, doesn't it, here we go, oh jeez, through water, and then boot, oh god, well, that, that is not how you fly it, <laughs> don't jet on a hill, okay, I thought I'd be able to pull my flaps out and fly out, but nope, not happening, wow, that's, that's kind of sad. Where'd it go? Oh, it's all the way over there, guys. That's so depressing. Ah, I just realized I'm a CEO. That's another good thing about this bike, the presser. You can actually just call it out as an MC instantly. If you're an MC, class is a default bike, and you can instantly call it out. There it is, the oppressor. And then if you look away, there you go. Beautiful. And then I'll just quickly go back out of that. Okay, let's try this again. See, it beautifully boosts. It's better than a coil voltage, guys. I definitely recommend buying this instead of a coil voltage because the difference in price is only a few hundred K, to be honest, I think. I personally, I don't own it, but the coil voltage. Wow, I'm not very good at this. I'll get used to it, guys. But honestly, the bike is really good once you do get experience with it. I might do some stunt videos with it later on in the future, but I don't know. It is beautiful, guys. It's definitely worth buying with the Gun Net Running DLC. It's the most unique and elegant bike in the game. So, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. 